Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Welcome to the weekend edition. This is where we get fancy with what we do. I've got some exciting news on some movies that are coming out this fall. Plus, two really, really good actors are getting honorary Academy Awards next year. Lashana Simon, she puts this all together. I love to say it's not cute not knowing. We start with a hug, so... We got our hug in. Are you ready? Welcome to the Weekend Entertainment Update. So what are some of the big stories this week? We've got some great news on comedian and actor Mike Epps. Have you checked out his Netflix show, The Upshaws? You've got Wanda Sykes. You've got Kim Fields. I love, love, love this show. And I have to give you guys credit for turning me on to the show. Well, there's going to be a second season of Mike Epps' show, The Upshaws, on Netflix. It's even going to be a longer season. We're going to look forward to that. And Mike Epps is getting a chance to play his dream role. He has always wanted to play the great comic Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor has always meant so much in the life of Mike Epps. He's always come close to playing him, but now Mike Epps is going to get his chance in a new HBO movie, and it's all about the Los Angeles Lakers in the 80s. Philadelphia's own Jasmine Sullivan, you got to check her out on the summer edition of Essence Magazine. Recent BET Award winner, hails from Philadelphia, Topping the charts with Pick Up Your Feelings. These photos of Jasmine Sullivan are amazing. Now, she is sharing the cover along with actor Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. He won an Emmy for the HBO movie The Watchman. He's coming up with the new Candyman horror film, which opens in theaters on August 27th. And he's going to be starring in the new Matrix for movie. Essence Magazine on one cover, you got Jasmine Sullivan. On the other, you've got Yahya Abdul Mateen II. Tracy Ellis Ross. We know the blackish star. She's the daughter of Diana Ross. Did you know she was teaming up with the OWN Network and Hulu for a new documentary all about hair? The Hair Tales documentary. It's all about black women, hair, and identity. Actors Danny Glover and Samuel L. Jackson. The spotlight is going to be on them next year at next year's Academy Awards. They will be getting honorary Oscars. Right now, we want to take you behind the scenes of the new movie, Respect. Jennifer Hudson is playing the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, and it's opening in theaters on August 13th. You've got Farz Whitaker, Mary J. Blige. You've got Marlon Wayans playing the bad husband. But take a look at these behind-the-scenes photo of what it took to transform Jennifer Hudson into the Queen of Soul and the many stars you're going to see. Titus Burgess playing the Reverend James Cleveland. There's a lot of excitement on this movie. Jennifer Hudson, she's playing the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, in the movie Respect. It opens in theaters August 13th. The fall movie season is going to be so exciting. Check this out. Do you like westerns? Well, get ready for the harder they fall. This black western is going to debut in the fall on Netflix. The cast includes Idris Elba, Regina King, Jonathan Majors. We know him from Lovecraft Country. Actor Lakeith Stanfield, Del Boy Lindo, The Five Bloods. Woody McLean, he played Bobby Brown in the Bobby Brown story. Actor Laz Alonzo, as well as Damon Wayans Jr. and Dion Cole. Woo, the preview for this was so exciting. I can't wait for The Heart of They Fall, the Western. It's going to start streaming on Netflix this fall. Another movie coming out, and I can actually give you a date, The Many Saints of Newark. It's going to be in theaters October the 1st as well as streaming on HBO Max. What's great about this? If you're a Soprano fan, you know, back in the 90s, early 2000s, it was all about The Sopranos. Well, in this preview, Prequel, the Many Saints of Newark. We get to see a young 
Tony Soprano. Now, the young Tony Soprano is played by Michael Gandolfini. His dad, the late actor James Gandolfini, played Tony Soprano. He looks just like his dad. How did he become Tony Soprano and what, what led him on that journey? Well, that is what the sequel to The Many Saints of Newark is all about. Like I said, it opens in theaters and starts streaming on HBO Max October the 1st. So look out for it. Also, here's a treat. Leslie Odom Jr., Aaron Burr, Hamilton, Philly, <laughs> Tony Award winning actor. He is also starring in The Many Saints of Newark. A lot of entertainment that we're covering. We love to keep you informed. Hit the notification button so that you'll know when a video pops up. Leave a comment because Ani does read the comments. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video. LaShawna works on this very hard. She puts it all together. We want to keep you entertained. It's not cute. Not knowing is one of my favorite sayings, but we're keeping you informed. Thanks for joining us. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture.